The first story on Arjuna's quest is when his guru gathered him and the nine other students together after they'd been studying for a few years. And they have been working very hard. So this guru wants them to go to another town that is a couple days away. And this guru is too old, so he's not going to make the trip. But he gets the boys together and says, look, I want you guys to experience this festivity that's happening in this town. It's, you guys going to enjoy it. But please stick together and remember what I taught you and return as one. So the boys make off. And boys being boys, they get into a bunch of different things. And some of these stories will help you understand some of the things Ajuna witnessed. But the first is the first challenge that they, they had. They had to cross a river. That was fast and deep. Well, they started crossing. And one of the boys thought to himself, the guru said we should stick together. So he starts helping out. And then all the other boys start helping out. Then when they get across, one boy thinks to himself, I better do a head count. So he counts, pointing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine well he comes up with nine and all the other boys see this and they quickly count too because they all learn from the same guru so they all are counting the same way with their finger pointing one two three four five six seven eight nine they all see the number nine and they know they're of ten so because of their math and their algorithm in their mind, they make a mistake. But because they're believing that they're nine, but they're really of 10 right now, they go and search and search. They look up high and low. They look in the water, down the river. They're looking for their 10th classmate. After the whole day, they're exhausted, crying, weeping. Luckily, there was an old man that knows Vedanta that was passing. And he sees the boy suffering. So he walks over and he says, Hey, you guys okay? Can I help you out? And one of the boys explains this long story that they were 10 and now they're 9. And he does a head count and he sees 10 boys right in front of him. <coughs> so he thinks to himself, Oh, <coughs> this is simple. He tells them first the what which we all do. So he tells them, that that you're looking for is already with you. Well, this sentence goes over some of the boys' heads. Some of the boys imagine that this must mean their classmate's spirit is with them. But there is no solace seen by this old man that knows Vedanta. He knows they didn't comprehend. So he needs to go a little bit further. He realizes the what did not work with these boys. But this old man knows the how, which is an ancient Vedantic secret. If you know the how, well, that's a higher knowledge in life to strive for. So he thinks to himself, okay, how can I get these boys to see they're 10 and they're not nine? So he comes up with his powerful question. He says, I got it. I can help you, but you have to answer one question for me. How did you come up with nine? This young man looks at the old man with, with confidence and says, oh my goodness, let me show you. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, old man. Can you not count? The old man grabs the boy's finger that he's pointing with, and he brings it to the boy's face, and he says, what about this boy? Right there, that one boy, Ajuna, became enlightened. 
And all of his classmates around him understood. And they all became enlightened to know their ignorance. And they were so joyful and happy. They were crying and so happy. This is the first lesson Ajna learned was that you must start counting yourself first. And that that you're looking for is already with you. And if the what does not work, try to apply the how. Good luck on your journey, Ajna.